Hey guys, Fruit of the Night here, bringing you another episode of First Minecraft Adventure! The, gra the great adventure where we go off and, pre pre and prepare for random things. Okay, well, this is a great start to my intro. We basically try are going to get ready to fight the Ender Dragon. That's the short story. I'm not going to go for the long story. Not today. Anyway, when we left off, I have apparently... I cheated again just so I can get to the nether just, well so, yeah so I can get to the nether and get my stuff because I went through a four minute cart ride and lost my uh, just so I could get my stuff and then I died again and I was not going to tolerate losing all that stuff so naturally I cheated yeah I'm not proud of it but you come on guys I've lost like I've already lost two diamond swords. I was not gonna lose a third one. And on the way trying to find my portal back, I accident I kinda got lost and accidentally stumbled upon this nether fortress that I'm staying on. Which I'm not sure if you guys can see or not because oh sorry my nose itches. Um because apparently the lighting within the game that I can see is a lot different from when where you guys can see. For whatever reason, it's really dark on your guys' ends. I'm not even sure if you can see the two pigmen behind me and whatnot. So, as you may have... So, I'm standing on this new fortress, and um, luckily for me, I asked you guys um, if you want me to mark down this location. And when I checked up the comments, you guys said yes. Yes! Um, so, I haven't, so, I haven't marked it down yet. I wanted to mark it down on camera for you guys to see. Um, oh, but real quick, the nether portal, I kind of, well, I made it in cheats, cheat mode, sorry. Um, but that was done because, um, and hang on, I'm, sorry, I'm going to flip myself back into cheat mode, C for cheat mode. Um, but that was done because I just remembered, I don't think I've marked down the coordinates for my, um, previous nether portal portal on um, so that means guys I've that means I probably it would have probably took me forever to figure out where my other nether portal was and still keep this location but anyway so I made that portal because I knew where the coordinates of my actual home was so I just needed to get to the overworld and does TP over there and I can destroy the portal on the other side so why don't we go ahead and do that um, F5, so I get back into perspective. I don't know why it lagged on me. Actually, I'm moving my mouse and it is lagging a lot. No! What's going on? What is this? Do I want to enable dictation? Oh, uh, what is that? Why did that show up on my screen? Well, why, why did they kick me out and do that? Uh, I don't know. I'm scared. I am very scared. Oh. Uh, let me put these back to normal. Full screen on. Oh, that was very scary, guys. I don't even know what happened. Uh. Okay, anyway. Marking down coordinates. So the coordinates inside the nether um, for this fortress, so hopefully I'll be able to find the other, so another fort, it is 351 space, 58 space, negative 43, I know it says 42 way over, ugh, way over next to the Z, but you probably want but I, but you'd most likely want the um one that's in the parentheses. So yeah. So there we go. We got the Nether Fortress coordinates. I don't know how that compares to our Nether Fortress. The Nether Fortress, our Nether Portal back at home. We'll have to check that later. But I am not going to go try to find this Nether Fortress this episode. We are actually going to do something else. But anyhow, let me enter this portal. Get to the other side. By the way, I also took the liberty of marking this portal location, well, so I can find it again and check what I need to do 
back at home. But um, this portal's location. So, oh crap, my mouse is messed up. Hang on, hang on. Ah, ah, ah. All right, everything's fixed. This portal location is like way farther than any from home base. I mean, I don't even want to try to make a path from here to wherever my home is because if I, if I f if I f three this, you can see that the port that the x coordinate alone is tw two thousand. 852 um and the x coordinate at home is 33 so we're already way past 2000 blocks away and i don't even want to compare y and z well y is just height so y won't matter but i don't want to compare our z coordinates because we may be really far or actually we could be really close compared to the z coordinate and um it won't matter but Anyway, F3. Ah, this dictation thing again! Uh. Hold on. Uh, dictation. The F function key twice or choose start dictation from the edit menu. Uh. Don't ask again. Let's see if that. That fixes it. Uh, that's that's very scary, guys. I don't know what it is. It keeps popping up every time I do an F to something. Back to game. Now F3. Please tell me nothing's going to pop up. Oh, there's also a witch's hut over here. And for, don't ask me why, but I think I've been to this location before. When I was doing my grand adventure, I I want to assume that I was going this way. Um, but perhaps so, perhaps not. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm gonna destroy this Nether portal, um, real quick, and then I'm gonna get out of land modes after returning back to survival after team peeing back to my home. Ugh. Either way, see you guys back where I'm playing bet once again legitimately, and um, yeah, when I'm playing legitimately once again, and we are back at base, and we are back. Um, we're once again in survival. I've got all my stuff here that I've lost. Um. Still debating if I should actually get rid of it, believe it or not, because I cheated for it. Let's not. Please, guys, I don't want to get rid of it. So, yeah, we can't make any potions till we get another wart, but we're not going to concern ourselves with that right now. Right now, we're going to concern ourselves with finishing up my house because way up there, I still don't have a roof. Ugh. I I realized that as I was as I was setting up the court nether portal and I try and TP back to my house I realized that as I TP um maybe eat this real quick um that it was still raining inside my house like my room didn't have any rain but like it was still flooding everywhere else and I was like oh my god so let's go back for my axe and chop down some more Arcania wood trees um, because we need some more wood in order to make my roof um, I was also thinking in this episode we can gather so I'm gonna go out probably um cutscene it but I'll go and gather some a little bit more obsidian um, because I'm thinking now I'm probably gonna do this next episode by the way just so you know but I'm thinking that it would be much more, um, I, I should probably, it would be, I, I, I can't kill nether, I can't kill endermen to save my life, but I don't think endermen can pick up obsidian. So I'm thinking that I can upgrade my mob tower. Um, raise the roof up a bit 
but I have to make like the floor and the walls out of obsidian. I'm gonna need a lot of obsidian. So I figured we can go out and gather some obsidian and then like next episode we can actually work on upgrading the mob tower because I'm done with the nether for now. I am tired of that dreadful place. The place of nightmares. The place the place where I'm always getting my butt kicked. I yeah, bring a diamond sword with me. You'd think that'd be enough. No. Can't kill the darn mobs. Save my life. Um, let's go ahead and check what our catch has gotten since I've just heard a zombie die. Uh, gunpowder. Um, we don't need this. You can take that back. Whoa. I almost got hit. But yeah. Um do we have any more sand? Any more sand? Doesn't look like we have any more sand. Um we have stone, but I don't think we have sand. Um Is this all the wheat we have? Cause actually maybe I don't know. No, that's all the wheat we have, and the rest of my wheat's still growing. Actually, I probably have some bone meal. I could probably bone meal it up later. Not right now. Um, because I think we can name our dog, my dog, if we can, if, if breeding the animals will give me enough XP. Um, but I'm not sure about that. Alright, so let's go get that wood. Let's go get the wood. Eat some pork chops. That's gross. Because I'm a vegetarian. And I don't like eating meat. And I'm making my Minecraft character eat meat. And it's kind of ironic. And it's stupid. And there's a cave system. That it looks like I've partially explored. Um, yeah, I think I've actually been here before, but it's just like, oh, it's over here, isn't it? Like, I, this is a, this cave system, I always get myself lost in! Run! Run! That's a freaking skeleton! They are not nice. They are not a nice folk. Alright, well, I was successful in finding the desert, but I thought that there was some arcania, and I'm probably pronouncing the stupid wood wrong, but that redwood tree somewhere. Oh, come on, where is this stupid trees? Alright, well, we're at the edge of a desert. They definitely don't spawn in the desert. Um... Well, that's lots of sandstone. Hey, maybe we can make a sand castle sometime. We certainly got plenty of the sand. Um. Eat that real quick. I am. Well, I'm dumbfounded. Oh, well, let's pick up this arrow. We could always use an arrow. Where the heck are those trees? Ouch! I don't want to make my roof out of just oak wood. I did not bring a pickaxe with me. As much as I'd like to gather some of this stuff. Come on, where is the wood? Where is the wood? Uh, there's all these trees, but none of them are the right trees. It was definitely not this far away, was it? Huh. See, I know there's trees somewhere because otherwise I wouldn't have had that some of those red wood in the first place. But I'm like loading new chunks.
Yeah, I'm definitely loading new chunks. All right, well, let's circle back home. So, I don't know what we're going to do about this. I'm going to have to try to find a previous video that I built my house with. I don't know. Hopefully, I have a video that I used. Because I know I've had lots of recording issues, so that could possibly mean I may have lost those trees forever. I hope that's not the case. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of coal in this one hill. Really wish I had my pickaxe right now, because that's a lot of experience. I mean, if coal's good for nothing, if, if coal's good for nothing else other than cooking, it's for experience. Okay, I don't know why I decided to, um work my way through a forest. Oh my god. That was definitely not my smartest decision. Oh look, a little stone thing. Alright, well here's the swamp. Oh, hello little squids. Swamp's actually a good sign for in this case, because that means we're getting home. Um... Up, oh. and there's my little cheat rail. Might as well use that to go home even faster. Ah, this is the way I want to go. Oh crap! There's a skeleton somewhere. Uh. Uh. Running on the cheat rail. Don't need to run on the cheat rail. Riding on the cheat rail. Chopping off a stupid pig. Oh, that's too close. I could have been sent backwards and I would have had to try to hit one of these red stone horses and get myself to stop. exit and we run like mod to get inside my house now let's sleep katush see I'm trying to look for wood this kind of wood to put on top but I can't seem to find any Which is kind of flustering, if you ask me. That's some good melons. Um, I don't know what this episode's trying to accomplish here. Because I, oh my god. Let me guess. I don't have my diamond pickaxe. It's over. It's way off. Yon. It, it, it's on the other side of this cheat rail. <sighs> I really don't want to go on another four-minute ride. I know four minutes doesn't sound like much. And it's not bothersome to most of you guys, but it does bother me. Oh my god. Well, the least we can do is try to name my stupid dog. Th that I never take on adventures. So why don't we go ahead and try to do that. Let's um, grab some seeds. Um... We got the seeds, now we need the bones. Actually, we need bone meal. Hmm. 
Let's move the seeds and replace with bone meal. Excuse, excuse me. Sheesh, he always he always has to walk right in front. He's like a cat, always having to go right in front of where I'm trying to go. Alright, that totals me up to four. Um, but what I really need is six, so we'll do we'll try you. Uh, I'm trying to feed wheat with wheat. That's why it's not working. I need bone meal. Alright, good. I didn't stomp out any crops. Now, let's go see what the chickens are doing. Alright. Uh, let's do you and you. You and you. Um, and flip to my axe. Alright, we got four levels. Um, let's see, wh wh which chicken do these chi little chicks follow? Come on, get moving, you stupid chickens. See, the thing is, like, I've, I've noticed this with the cows on the gold guild server, but it seems like the baby farm animals always follows an adult farm animal, which I would assume would be the mother. I guess that doesn't work with chickens. The reason I care so much is because not, because ever since I made that assumption, I didn't want to kill the mother. Um, for quite obvious reasons, I hoped. Um, let's feed them cows now and see if we can, if see if I can prove this concept. Let's. Do you and you, since you're the closest. Alright, back off, back off, let them do their thing. You and you. You and you. I'll flip away so the baby cows can follow whoever. But. But you would see that, like, a baby cow would eventually. I think the baby cows follow their presumed mothers. Um, huh. I don't know why, but it just seems like they're doing that in the Gold Guild server. It doesn't look like they're doing it in this one. Why are these cows always getting themselves stuck here? Pushing you away. Stay away from this side of the fence. You get stuck here for whatever reason, and it's, it drives me nuts. Well, it looks like they're following. I don't know. Anyway, you gotta kill. Ah, stay still. Oh my god, he ran inside. Which one could he be? You. We're gonna flip to my diamond sword. Hopefully, it's instant. Um, you guys don't have any baby cows near you, so I'm gonna assume you're just random cows. Oh, cool! We got five levels finally. That is just the amount we need. Um, the gate. Close the gate. Open the door, close the door. And where's that name tag? Here it is. Alright, so in theory, I think it's five levels to change the name. So, we'll go with Ember. I don't know why I made that sound twice, but... Alright. Hey, dog. Why are you sticking your head in the wall? You are Emba. Come on. 
Get your furry little butt out here. Can you move? Come on. Well, let's... Now will you follow me? Come on. Come on, doggy. Come on, doggy. Come on, doggy. Okay, I guess he's very comfortable in our room. Well, in my room. So sit. Stay. Um. Yeah. Well, at least we named a dog, so it's not like this has been a complete waste of an episode. If you guys. Uh, because I, I'm gonna have to get my diamond pickaxe and. It's way far off, and I really don't want to edit out the stupid four minutes. Ugh. Um. So, I don't. I don't see anything else I can really do for this episode. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and wrap it up. It's not my. I know it's not my best episode, guys, but. Um, hopefully, by next episode, I'll have my diamond pickaxe and I would collect the obsidian. And we can work on building the mob tower. So that'll give you guys something to look forward to. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I guarantee you, not all episodes are as uneventful as this one. Um, they, usually, I, usually I have lots of things happening. I don't know why my golem is chilling out inside there. I mean, I guess he saw. Si I guess he likes mobs falling on his head. I won't understand it, but you know what? Whatever pleases him. Whatever keeps his gears running. So yeah, um, if you guys have any feedback about this episode, leave that in the comments below. I enjoy re reading some feedback. Um. And if you guys have any suggestions for what I can do for future episodes, please leave that in the comment section as well. Um, if you guys haven't, if you guys are not, whoa! Why does that keep happening? Like I'm just walking forward, and all of a sudden, wow! It's creeping me out. I blame Hero Brian. If something happen if something happens to you in Minecraft and you have no explanation, blame Hero Brian. Um Hashtag blame Hero Brian. Sorry guys, I don't I don't know. I don't know how this Twitter thing works, to be honest. I've only just be started Twitter a while ago, so I don't know what these what hashtags symbolizes. But hey, whatever floats Twitter Twitter blah blah whatever floats those bluebirds boats. Anyway, yeah, if you have any, f ugh, this is the longest outro ever. I'll see you guys next episode. Like video, subscribe, comments, follow me on Twitter slash Facebook. Those should be in the description. Yeah, I think I covered everything. See you guys next episode.